This is an old Collins axe head that I picked up today at the flea market with a broken handle. I don't know if you can see it there, but it says Collins. It's probably about three pound. And I'm going to give it a uh, vinegar acid bath and put a new handle on it. Ten dollars at the flea market. It's in good condition. So yep. Okay, so I got the broken piece of handle out of the eye. Now what I'm going to do is put the axe in a plastic container. And I've got some white vinegar here. And I'm going to completely cover the axe in vinegar. And I'm going to let it soak for probably a day or a day and a half. And we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so the axe head has been soaking for about a day now. And you can see that it's starting to scale off. And I'm going to take a wire brush and just knock off some of that rust. And so here you can see this line here is where the hardened is, where the, the edge has been hardened versus just the regular steel. So I'm just going to go ahead and give it a good cleaning up. Okay, so here's the finished axe head. Well, it's not actually totally finished. I still need to put a handle on it, which I have ordered a handle. I'm just waiting for it to arrive. And I may actually put some Rust-Oleum or something on it. But as far as the acid wash, uh, it's pretty much done. I don't know. I'm pretty happy with it. It came out pretty nice. I am, like I said, probably going to put some Rust-Oleum on it. And I did want to show the size of it. It's about 7 and 3 quarters. By about 4 and a half. It's about a three pound axe, but I am very pleased with the results. A little bit of acetic acid does wonders.